All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, we're going to be talking about Purism launches the Librem Awesome. <laughs> Anybody that knows my history with Purism, I'm a critic, not a fan. So let's just scroll down about this. Let's just look at the tech specs. Technical specifications, unlimited plan. Text calls data are unlimited. Peak data users may be compressed at peak averages. 3G, 4G, 5G offered as it becomes available. United States, additional regions added as they become available. Coverage, T-Mobile or, AT and, or AT&T, ability to change backbone service with new SIM. Calls must originate from the U.S. Prepaid monthly, first month, now, uh, first month paid now, second month paid 30 days after customers leave from five phones ship. Select desired area code during ordering and a phone number is generated and assigned during service activation. Phone number selection and phone numbering porting will be offered at a later date. Cancel any time. Yeah, so here's the thing. $99 a month for a new phone number. Pre-configured and ready to go. Get a pre-configured Librem 5 phone shipped directly. Uh, uh, <laughs> ship direct. That will have cellular service. Phone data and SIM card ready to go upon powering it up. So does that mean I'm getting a Librem 5 when you can't even ship the goddamn things already? Privacy as a service. Major cellular providers are creating unified customer, uh, customer identifiers based on customer account information, name, billing information, and unique identifiers on your mobile devices so they can identify users across multiple devices and serve them relevant advertising. Libra Awesome, fucking hate that name, as an extra layer of privacy to your customer data to protect you from tracking, uh, targeted tracking. We, re we register your phone number in our name on your behalf and keep your personal uh, your personal and financial data private and out of the hands of companies who would sell it to theirs. So my phone number is basically to you. So you're MV, I believe it's MVNO or N whatever. You're piggybacking off at and T-Mobile. My phone number and financial shit is still registered to you. For a privacy and security focused company and a company that can't ship a fucking product but can announce a lot of them, it's kind of a thing where I'm like, eh, do I trust you? Not fucking really. So here's the thing that I just, I couldn't help but laugh at. Awesome benefits. Help build an ethical technological future. Unlimited service, phone number, Support the movement. Help fund additional development services offered from Purism. So $99 a month as an MV, uh, NV, <laughs> M whatever, as a fucking reseller of fucking like T-Mobile and AT&T Spectrum. You're charging me $99 a month so you have a potential revenue source because you've ne announced... An overglorified Intel NUC, Librem 1, the fucking Librem key, which is an overglorified Ubi key, uh, fucking the phone that still hasn't fucking shipped. <laughs> like, uh, what was the other thing though? Oh, the fucking server. A lot of announcements, but not a lot of actual physical products. So, I'm just gonna sit here. And say exactly how and what I view purism as. And it's not the people that actually work at purism. It's the dude running the ship. To me, my opinion, and I believe personally, it's a Ponzi scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. It's whatever the idiot in charge can do to keep money flowing for shit that they haven't shipped continuously you got the multiple things that i they've announced don't talk about sh actually shipping and then you have the tablet thing that they put off put off to the side for the phone they talked about on their first gen laptop being a nvidia powered laptop still never saw that motherfucker socially conscious corporation 
my ass. This reeks of desperation. This reeks of a money grab. We haven't shipped stuff, so we're not actually... (laughs) We haven't shipped shit. We've announced a lot of things, a lot of promises, but that's it. And it's always the dude in charge that makes these announcements. The former CTO basically said this, that when they have bad news, they just roll out another announcement of some fucking crack-ass idea. If this doesn't show that purism is not a company to constantly be backed, I don't know why people ride or die with this fucking company, at least with the dude in charge. I I will never understand it. If a different person was running this company, and if it was a different way of doing business that they do, then I could at least get behind this. I cannot get behind Purism with the dude in charge that is in charge. So when these guys actually ship a product beyond a half ass promises that they constantly make and never fulfill, this is a joke. This is a Ponzi scheme and it reeks more and more of it with shit like this. I want an open source company. I want a company that focuses on privacy and all the things and the ideals of the the socially conscious company that is supposed to be purism. I just want a different dude in charge of it. 